everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from Parks Racing, Ben Salem, PA, on Saturday afternoon, December the 31st. And this is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 8 this afternoon, folks. It's the feature of 322 p.m. Eastern Post Time. The aptly named Ole Lang Sign Stakes, 8.3 furlongs. That's a mile and 70 yards on the dirt. Three year olds and up race for a stakes purse of $75,000. Just a little trivia, folks. Ole Lang Sign name of a poem written by the Scottish poet Robert Burns back in 1788. Contenders for race eight, number nine, Not a Broad, number one, Geminator, number five, Thunder Lord, and number six, Heart Butte. Number nine, Not a Broad, is the overall speed leader in the stakes field, racing at or about today's distance of a mile, 70 yards on the dirt, has hit the board in power run fashion each of his last five starts, winning three times in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Nick Petro and trainer Mike Petro sent him to the post for the Saturday feature. They fit the board with half of more than 100 entries saddled as a team to date. Number one, Geminator. A 4-1 to one shot comes off back-to-back -back power run wins in his last two starts. Race 8 summary, number 9. Not a broad tops the contenders list, which also includes number one, Geminator, number five, Thunder Lord, and number six, Heart Butte. That's 9156 in the 8th from Parks Racing. The old Lang Syne stakes $75,000 on the line today. Bonus long shots Delta Downs, race three, the 15 to 1 bomb, number three, Dr. Silent. Qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, takes a class drop of 10 units. Nice overall speed for the sprint at the specialized distance of seven furlongs on the dirt. Hawthorne Race Course, race three, the nine to two shot, number seven, Hello Jake, a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony qualifier, is at the board in power and fashion in three of her last five starts. So from Parks Racing on New Year's Eve afternoon, Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.